Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. In this video I'm going to explain how to solve uh, population genetics problems using Hardy-Weinberg formula. And here is a problem. Phenylketonuria is an autosomal recessive form of severe mental retardation. About 1 in 10,000 newborns Caucasians are affected or show the phenotype of the disease. Assuming random mating, what is the frequency of the heterozygous carriers? And if you think that you can solve this problem on your own, I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own first, and when you would be ready, you can run video again, and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So, how we are going to solve this problem? First of all, you need to know Hardy-Weinberg formula. You probably know already this formula uh, as binomial expansion. So, F that stands for the frequency of the three genotypes that can be made by two alleles equal to p squared plus 2pq plus q squared and equals to 1. So here we have uh, p and q or in simple Mendelian genetics you probably get used to uh, dominant allele A and recessive uh, small allele A. So I would use these letters to make uh, all this uh, explanation easier for you. So we have two alleles, dominant A and recessive allele A, and in this formula for the dominant allele A we have P, and for the recessive allele A we have Q. So imagine that people have these two alleles, so, in, and these two alleles can make three different genotypes. Because we are deployed, we have two alleles. So, two alleles can make three different genotypes. So, in this formula, P squared stands for the um, capital A, capital A, or homozygous dominant uh, phenotype or genotype. And 2PQ stands for the heterozygous genotype, so capital A and small a, and Q squared stands for the homozygous recessive genotype. So all the alleles P and all the alleles Q in the gene pool, if we combine them, would make 1. And in this formula, 1 equal to 100%. So if you want an answer in percentage form, you have to multiply your answer by 100. And uh, all the calculations here are made on the scale between 0 and 1. And if you need uh, an answer in percentage form, you just have to multiply by 100 and you will get an answer as a percentage. So what we know, we know that uh, 1 out of 10,000 newborn Caucasians are affected. What, that, what does it mean? That means that uh, people who is affected belongs to this genotype. And genotype here equals to phenotype. So when we know that person is affected, we can say that he is uh, homozygous recessive. So frequency would be 1 out of 10,000. So we have to divide 1 by 10,000. And we will, uh, we will get uh, uh, frequency of this genotype and decimal, uh, as decimal number. So this is going to be 0. 0, 0, 0, 1. This is going to be frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype. And uh, this is equals to Q squared. Of course, when we multiply A by A, we are going to get A squared. In the letters that you probably get used to in simple Mendelian genetics. So, if we know that Q squared equals to 0 0.0001, we can easily find Q, and we need Q in order to find uh, frequency of the people who is heterozygous. We need to know P and Q, these numbers. And we can easily find these numbers if we take a square root and this is how we can find Q. So Q would equal to 0 0.01. Or we also can say that 
1% of the alleles in this gene pool would be recessive allele A or Q. So this is going to be 0 0.01. And of course we can easily uh, can say that P would be 0 0.99. So P would equal to 1 minus Q or 1 minus 0 0.01. So P would equal to 0 0.99. And this is going to be frequency of the dominant allele. 0 0.99. So when we know uh, P, frequency of P, when we know frequency of the allele Q or recessive allele, we can find frequency of the uh, people who is carriers or whose genotype is heterozygous. So this is going to be capital A, small a, that is heterozygous genotype would equal, according to our uh, formula, to P, Q, and we know all the numbers, so we can use num numbers, so 2 multiplied by P, and P is 0 0.99, and multiplied by Q that is 0 0.01 and the answer would be 0 0.02 of course I am rounding all the numbers to two decimal places so uh, we also can give an answer as a percentage we just have to multiply this number by 100 and the answer would be 2% so this is going to be our answer today and this is going to be 0 0.02 you can use uh, with uh, this number on the scale between um, 0 and 1 or this number in percentage form and of course you can uh, predict uh, frequency of the uh, homozygous dominant uh, genotype we know frequency of this uh, genotype frequency of this genotype and we can say that frequency of the p, p squared of course you can just multiply 0 0.99 by itself or we can combine these two numbers and subtract from the one so our answer should equal to one and we can say that uh, P squared would equal to 0 0.98 and this is also a rounded number to two decimal places and uh, this is basically all for today but I also want to add few words about this genetic disorder if you want to learn more probably I should uh, tell about this at the beginning of the video uh, nowadays uh, all the newborns in the United States uh, are tested for this genetic disorder after the delivery a uh, blood sample of the newborn is taken and many uh, tests are performed and one of the tests would be a uh, test for PKU this is short abbreviation of this genetic disorder and if child would be tested uh, positive for this genetic disorder he still can be phenotypically normal if he would keep to the diet diet that excludes uh, products that is high in protein because we cannot exclude one protein we have to exclude all of them and uh, people who keep to the diet that excludes meats milk and uh, eggs for example and other products that is high uh, on the protein can be phenotypically normal so all the consequences of this genetic disorder can be avoided and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye